The United States and China have agreed to reopen lines of communication after a behind-closed-doors meeting in California. I'm Andrew Feinberg, White House correspondent for The Independent, and I'm in San Francisco, California, where President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping have agreed that their country's respective militaries will reopen lines of communication that were cut off by the Chinese following House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan last year. The Chinese leader is in California for the APEC Summit, an annual trade forum for Asia-Pacific nations. Both he and Mr. Biden traveled to the historic Bourne Routh estate in San Mateo, California for roughly four hours of talks in private. After rain delayed a rare solo press conference by Mr. Biden, the president described the meetings as the most constructive and productive discussions we've had. And he announced that after many years of being on hold, we are restarting cooperation between the United States and PRC on counter-narcotics. We're reassuming military to military contact. Wednesday's meeting, the first face-to-face -face encounter between Mr. Biden and Mr. Xi since they met at the G20 last year, wasn't all friendly. After today, would you still refer to President Xi as a dictator? This is a term uh, that we used earlier this year. Well, look, he is. Mr. Biden said that he and Mr. Xi were blunt with one another, so there would be no misunderstandings on Ukraine or rising tensions in the Middle East. Mr. Biden came out of the meeting clearly optimistic about the current state of the U.S.-China relationship, but it remains to be seen if the Chinese government will follow through on the commitments that were made during the meeting. Follow The Independent for live reporting from our teams across the U.S. and the world.